<clears throat> and that was an excellent start. Thank you, Matt. Go You're home. welcome. <laughs> Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this month's land on the Hangout for our comic pick. If this was my pick, I read it and I wanted everyone else to read it. Um, so we, we read The Witch Boy, um, which Kirsten is here holding up my copy right now. <laughs> the fun, I read it and I made you read it, and then everyone else read it. I started it, me. I did it. The plot thickens. <laughs> I bought it. We'll see. I picked it. You did, but I bought it. Can we, can we give you guys credit <laughs> together? <laughs> um, so, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much that I made all of you read it, and I'm making you read book two and book three, hopefully. Um, mm -hmm. um, I suppose sounds a lot. Um, let's go around and see what everyone thought. Uh, Kim. I really enjoyed it. Um, I read it during my lunch tomorrow, so, so that tells you something because I usually don't read anything at lunch. I read it, oh no, I read it while I was standing in the clinic waiting for everyone to finish <laughs> as well. So wow. yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, it was just a really nice book. i would get into the details later. It was just a good read. Um, no. Um, I was really happy that you guys asked us to, uh, to read it because this has been on my list for a while. In fact, I think it was my intention to buy it for my nephew for Christmas. He said he's got and picked other books now. Damn him. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> oh, no. um, that's all right. I'm going to get him all three for his birthday and then you read the first two before I give them to him. <laughs> Sorry, read two and three before I give them to him. Cause <laughs> <on>. <laughs> um, yeah, so thoroughly enjoyed it. Was really happy my library has it. Regardless of the fact that I'll be buying it, I've asked them to buy the second uh the next two because they should have them why don't they um and it was really really nice i don't think i loved it as much as i loved nimona but um obviously gave me similar sorts of vibes so i was like very happy with it Lena, you okay kim i mean <laughs> Kirsten, i'm sorry yeah it's the same as everyone else i really liked it i was like i don't know why i don't have this at my school library yet because it's it's a scholastic, scholastic. one and I'm like mm. I haven't seen it come up in the book club I don't know why because mm -hmm. usually I buy every graphic novel that basically comes up in the scholastic book club because we get reward points to um to buy it and it, um you know it doesn't cost us actual money it costs us rewards points so I buy a lot of stuff through scholastic and I'm like why do we not have this yet I know the kids would love it like graphic novels um they, I can't keep them on the shelves. Like they get borrowed so much. And I really think there's a lot of kids in my school that would really like this. And there was no content in it that I think I would, you know, there's nothing. And that was, I was glad I had the chance to read it too, because I was like, well, now I know there's nothing in it that I have to be worried about it for a primary school level. So like I can, maybe for the younger years, some of the ending might be a little bit scary, but yeah. Yeah. But like generally um, but, it's fairly like benign. Yeah, and I mean, we only, the, the, the preps to year, year ones don't borrow from the main section of the library anyway. So I really think that it's pretty fine. And it, generally the graphic novels are popular from sort of three year three and up. So I, I reckon it actually would be fine. Um, I probably wouldn't even put a senior fiction sticker on it. So yeah, I'm going to buy a copy for the library and I might just buy all the three of them for the school library so then I can read them and Yay. You know, and I can be like, well, I'm reading them to make sure that they are appropriate and decide whether I need to put senior fiction on them and that will give me an excuse to read them. And But I actually do think the kids would really like it. So, yeah, I really liked it, but I'm, I'm glad I found something else to promote to the kids at my school library because they can't mm -hmm. get enough graphic novels at the moment. I love the finding sneaky ways to read it without having to buy it ourselves. <laughs> well, for, you for know. ourselves. Yeah. I do I do try to read all the graphic novels that I put in the library because I can. Like mm. I can't read every novel that goes into the library because I just don't have that much time. But because a graphic novel you can read in an hour or so, yeah. I do try to just read all of them before they go on the shelves. So I know what to recommend to the kids, but also I know if there's any content that I should be worried about and um yeah, it's just a good a good way to get through a few graphic novels. Mm. And, yeah, I'm going to get this one for the school. So, yeah. Who's next? <laughs> There's only one. Oh, no, that's right. <laughs> I haven't gone yet. No. Um, obviously, I enjoyed it. 
because you're all reading it because of me, not her. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, makes me, it, just, it filled me with joy reading it, and that's the way time. Matt. Hey, it's me. Uh, yeah, is is a uh, good fun, a uh, good uh, you know. I I kept having kept having to remind myself of the uh, the age audience that this was intended for because I kept going, oh, that's exactly what I was expecting, <laughs> and, and you know that lack of complexity. But then I just had to go, oh yeah, actually this is like for a preteen or early teen kind of audience, and like mm. once I had my head in that space. It was it was good and yeah a nice you know fun good good morals story everyone can get something out of it and and just make the world a better place by reading it. Hmm. I had that same stuck in my head. Yeah. Damn it, Matt. <laughs> I had the same problem to a one to point two points. I'm like, this seems really simple. Of course it is. It's a, it's a <laughs> middle grade <Right. laughs> level. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Well, then but it's that, actually good. That also it plays it plays to uh like it's it's a positive as well because it's not there's not a specific subtext or anything going on it can apply as an allegory to any of mm. several different kind of situations that yes. you want it to to work yeah. for yeah and even though it was like it is for younger children like i really did feel like i didn't feel like i was reading a no. Like, while, yes, there were some, like, oh, I, I kind of saw where that was kind of going, it wasn't like a, well, I'm bored with this because it's kind of yeah. like, and this is going here and this is going here. Like, it was just really lovely. And his friendship with the the non-witch girl whose name is escaping me because it's the little... That was C? Is it C? I'm going to find it. Kurt, 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 I feel like it's Kurt something. Probably find it on the page. That's going to bother me now if I don't. Right. So I'm like, where did they meet? Because that's probably. Hang it. Somewhere here. Oh, while we're looking for that, guys, one thing I forgot to say at the beginning that I wanted to. My copy's falling apart because oh. I've been borrowed from the library so many times. I'm so happy about well, that. that's good. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, good. yeah, and that's what I mean. Like, I, the graphic novels that I've got in my library are the same. They're just, you know, they're all not on the shelves and then they're all got, like, two or three reservations on them. And then I had a kid coming to me just the other day because we're finishing up borrowing for the year. And she was like, but then my reservation hasn't come in and it's not going to be here in time. And I was like, I'm so sorry, but, like, People. Does it roll over to next year? Like I did say that, yeah. I did say to her, look, your reservation will be there for next year. Like it won't, it won't delete because what that's what they used to do. They used to delete them at the end of the year, and I was like, mm, do we have to do that? Because I, if it was me, like, and I said to because my teacher aide said, oh no, we always delete your reservations <clears> at the end of the year, and I was like, but if they come in and they don't want it anymore because they read it over Christmas, you just go, oh well, that's fine, and you take the reservation off and it goes to the next person. Like, whereas yeah. if you keep it on there, at least if they did still want it, it's mm. going to be there for them. Yeah, it's mm. not like they get back to school and they have to, like, rush to be the first one in the library so that they can, like, get their, get the book that they sort of have been waiting. Yeah, could and be I'm like, because I'm a reader. I'm like, I know. It's like, it, I know they're still it's waiting for it. It's waiting worth it to for a library to get my book. And, and if they weren't waiting for it, it's not a big deal for us to take the reservation off. Yeah. Like, if they've decided they don't want it anymore, like, they've, they've they're over it or they've got it, you know, someone gave it to them for Christmas or whatever. Then it's like, oh, no, that's fine. We'll just give it to the next person or put it back on the shelf. Oh, it's not. No skin off our nose if they don't decide they don't want it. Yeah, um, the girl's the name girl's is Charlotte or yeah, Charlotte. Charlotte. We're just going to say that. <laughs> Charlie or Charlotte. Charlotte, yeah. nicknamed Charlie. Yep. What did we all rate it? Like, I, I didn't it actually get a, give it a rating yet, but that's because I read it today and I haven't been I gave it on the computer yet. Yeah, I yeah. I gave four. It a four. Or it's intended audience, it four. definitely a five. I'd give it yeah. a five. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's where it's hard. It's like, are you rating for the audience or are you rating it for yourself? Like, it was strictly for me, I'd probably give it a four because 
Mm. I tend to like I've, I'm sure I've said this in like the last four hangouts we've had I like meatier things that are long, longer and more conflict and stuff but that's not who it's written for and for the age group I think I would give it a five yeah, yeah I gave it a five too I thought I'd given it a four but no I was wrong and I'm going to stand by that because I feel like I don't remember it as well as I do did when I first when I finished reading it and I, I rated it then so I'm gonna leave it <laughs> Um, so this makes for le a less interesting conversation because we decided we really like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we always have interesting conversations yeah. when we can bitch about but, something. Yeah. What was everyone's favourite thing that happened in the story? Like, you know, what sort of really stood out to you as your favourite sort of like or, your, or a sort of shining moment of the story? Um, Charlie, when she hit the dude with the bat. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, hit the dragon dude. <laughs> yes, I was like, you go, Charlie. You go. You don't have magic. You don't have special powers, but you're there and you're with your bat and you're going to protect your friends. You go. <laughs> yeah, I really liked the grandmother, even though she's only a little, little couple of little parts. She was sort of like that, that one behind the scenes who knew more but, but wasn't sure she could say anything until the end. She reminded me of the grandma in Moana where she's a like, I'm bit. going to yeah. just quietly yeah. encourage you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because what are they going to do? Yeah, I'm the, I'm I'm the old grandma. And I have zero zero yeah. Yeah. What to do? Actually, in the case of this grandmother, I was a little bit cranky with her not doing more for mm. him, knowing her history. Like at the end, it came out, and she was supportive of him. But I was actually kind of like, "You're the matriarch here." Yeah. Like, <laughs> why didn't you say something earlier? It's it's not like in the case of Moana where everybody treated her as sort of the crazy lady that they tolerated and stuff like that. Yeah. This is a totally different situation. Yeah. I feel but like only, maybe she was crazy. still a little bit scared. Yeah. Of what and, 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 and maybe there was a the reasoning for it. I don't know, but yeah. yeah, like I said, just a little bit cranky, not lots of cranky. <laughs> <laughs> I, I found myself at one point, you know, when the father first gets home and the mother's like, oh, I'll, I'll go do this. And the father's like, blah, blah, blah. And I got really annoyed. And I'm like, I'm so annoyed. And like, I was always thinking like when we review books and we were annoyed by an aspect of the book uh, because the author's done something that you don't like. She did this thing that we didn't like, but we weren't supposed to like it. Mm. And I'm honestly like, oh, I'm actually supposed to be grumpy about that. <laughs> Not I'm yeah. grumpy because this is badly written. I'm grumpy because she made me feel grumpy. That was her intention mm -hmm. to be like annoyed at this dad and the whole gender, uh, gender role sort of thing that they were doing. Yeah. yeah. I really loved the first time that, um, that he cast that flying spell into the bucket of water with Charlie, like yeah. Yeah. when he finally got it to work and he was just so excited that he made magic work yeah. and also like terrified that he had made magic work and he's a boy and he's not supposed to, mm. but like he still made it work and he was going to be able to help even though mm. everyone said that he couldn't do it because, you know, he's a boy and that's not his place. He just turns into an animal and I don't know what boys are supposed to do. Yeah. I don't know what, <laughs> other than be the protector from the demons. Like That's it. They're, you just fight. they're just supposed fight. to protect the lady folk. Mm. Yes. <laughs> they're supposed to, yeah. Exactly. Protect the ladies. They have all these spells around the house, which means demons can't get to them. So I say again, what is the point of the boys? <laughs> yeah. Look, we've always just done it that way and we'll continue doing it that way. Thanks very much. <laughs> I still don't see a point for having a boy. <laughs> yeah. Just let it happen. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I, I liked the same thing, similar thing. I liked when he made the berries. Thank you. I was just going to say the same thing. Yeah. So, which was the same kind of thing. It was like the first time you sort of saw him get make something work. And she's like, hey, that's cool. And he's like, oh, you can't tell anyone about that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything. He didn't see me do anything. <laughs> Now, Don't is this anyone. the same? Is this the same universe as Harry Potter, where there's muggles and non-muggles, and this like, is just part of the world? I know you're gonna, you guys are not gonna like this comparison, mm -hmm. but it kind of reminded me of the werewolves in Twilight, 
where they had like this. I know, I know you guys are going to hate Because they're shapeshifters. But, no, but no, they no. had, but they it was like a similar there. kind of thing where they had this kind of like tight knit community where they had this like power that the general public didn't know about. And it was like this very, you know, and I think in, in Twilight it's kind of much more because they're a Native American community and they're on a reservation and stuff. But, but I kind of got the same kind of vibe, like we're a small community that has known each other for like not necessarily like whereas in Harry Potter it's like you could just be born a wizard. And mm. whereas this was kind of like I felt more like this is our people and we don't mix so much with those people and we have our own little place that we live that's in between where those poles and stuff are. And Which also makes me curious, like how do you keep having children? Like, I think people are just maybe born. there are more communities of, uh, yeah, of I think there's more in other places and, and they do like yeah. swaps. Yeah, because he did so the point say say he know. could leave, but another community would not take him in. Another witch Notably, community would not take him in. My sister wife really loves her brother husband. <laughs> 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 but I feel like you're just going to get real inbred real fast. It Probably. doesn't take long, I don't think. No. No. Yeah. no. <laughs> Must you marry a cousin instead? Real inbred, real fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look yeah. at the royal families, and they're all like dying of hemophilia. There's a reason for that. <laughs> oh yeah, like how many of the royal? Like I know all the the Russian royals, but I knew there was some of the English royals as well that were like because they came from the Russian royals. I don't know the history that well, but like all the royals. There's a lot of people with hemophilia. Yeah, all those European ones. And yeah, and all the all the European royals all just inbred with one another. Wasn't it Albert? Wasn't he Russian? Victoria's husband? I think so. I have no clue. I don't know enough about them. Yeah. I don't care enough about them in all of I don't know. I only know <laughs> from watching that the, the Netflix show about Victoria. The the Victoria I remember show. he was uh, from somewhere oh, else. Sorry. It might have been Germany though. Not might not have been Russia. It might have been Germany. I don't know. But well, I just remember. Um, what's his face was from Germany? Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know. Yeah, because that's in the Queen instead. Yeah. Yes. But there was definitely the crown, a, the there crown. was definitely a link crown. between <laughs> the Russian royal family and the, uh, the British royal family, and with the hemophilia thing. I'm sure there was a link between the two of them for the same reason. You know, it's like it's easier to be marrying your cousin because then they've got royal blood, and then you don't mm-hmm. have to be mixing with the commoners. <laughs> And you get all those recessive genes too. Yay. Exactly. That's how you end up with haemophilia. <laughs> yeah, recessive genes. All red hair. Yeah. <laughs> all boys with magic. Maybe. Yep. Matt, do you have a knife? A knife? What are you doing? Yeah, that is a good question. Ah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Like, what are you doing? Well, obviously, he opened his beer and just, now he's I did. Like playing like, with it yeah. because it's there. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm not. I have, you know, I you on play occasion, played with before. it before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I do I do, do the same thing with my Leatherman quite often, but uh, no, it's a bottle open. That makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> so are we all keen to read the next two. Yes. yes. Yeah. Good. Definitely. Yes. I think the, the, um, them, so. yeah, <laughs> the third one's just out, isn't it? I know my library had the second yeah. one, but it didn't have yes, the third the one. The third one came out, out on like the 5th of October or the 5th of November. Yeah, very recent. Oh, okay. Very, very recent. Sorry. When is the hangout oh. for that one scheduled for? January. January. February? January? February? A while away. It's a little while. Right, you only need an hour or two to read it. I was just going to say, so. yeah, it's more going to be a challenge of can everyone get the book in time than well, can everyone see, read it in time. Well, everyone's going to be in Brisbane. Oh, yeah. Where there is yeah. a copy of each of the books. <laughs> in January. We could all just um, sit around and take point. turns reading it. Yeah. Maybe um, we need to uh, let, get living on this book then. <laughs> Oh, did I tell you that? Oh, no, I can tell you this later when we're not on air. <laughs> we're not talking about good, a, good idea. <laughs> I just thought of another thing with the, that idea of the communities and there are, like, more communities around the place. When they travel between communities, maybe that's when they need the protection. 
Oh, yeah, that would make more sense because I mean they've got all their like protection set up at their community with like all the like yeah. that's why the boys couldn't leave like certain positions in the forest because they had all their barriers set up and that's how they got mm. caught out because mm. um, they went past the barrier and the demons brought them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there it is. It's um sorry, I was just checking. Twenty fourth of January, so hang out. Okay. So yeah. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah. Book with Wood, very enjoyed, much, much recommend. Mm -hmm. Much recommend, give to all of the children. Yes. Yep. I'm actually really sad now that I've read it that it's not going to my nephew, like, more than I was before. Mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. Maybe but, it'll be one of those, just buy it and put it aside and somebody, there'll be somebody to give it to. I'm, like, tempted to just buy them and put them on a shelf so when our kids are big enough, because... You know, that'll happen sooner than later. Like, yeah, they're true. growing up so bloody fast. Xander's six now. Oh, God. Really in you. I know. Mm. I know. Um, and Claire's no, in no. next year. I know. Claire, who pretended she couldn't remember who I was. And then was <laughs> yeah, and then was like, oh, I don't know who you are. No, she just oh, does that for attention. Seen her putting on the shy show. I know. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, show oh, I don't big know letters. who you are. No, too scary. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention to me. Everybody look at me. God, you should have seen her today. Got a oh, splinter yeah. in her foot, carrying on at dance class. And then we felt bad because she's like, I don't want to jump and I don't want to do this. And, blah, blah, blah. and we're like, oh, she's being Claire. And she came over to us and we're like, oh, you have a giant splinter in your toe. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> but she was also cracking it because she wasn't first in line. And we were like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kids. My nephew's anyway. nine now. Like, how mm. did that happen? Mm. <laughs> My sister turned Mine's... seventeen in a week, and My... I'm like, I remember the She'll day be an you were born. Soon. <laughs> She'll be an adult soon. How old will you feel then? <laughs> Scary. I, My... I I can't believe she's a teenager, much less nearly an adult. My oldest niece is. It's starting year 12 next year and my nephew is starting high school next year. Oh. <laughs> I I'm not dealing with this. Time, time is going by and we are all getting old and I found three grey hairs the other day. Just We won't see them they're gone anymore now for a while. I, got, I don't, don't know what they Don't give me that because my 17, almost 17-year-old 17 sister, while I was at my parents' house last weekend, I was playing with her hair and noticed that all along here, she's got all these little greys. <laughs> yeah, but I had like one here and one here and one here. I, I want what Kim's got. I want like a streak so a I streak. can dye it. <laughs> I think that's what my sister's going to end up with because she's just got this yeah. nice little selection. I don't want like three. salt and pepper grey hair. This is going to be annoying. As somebody who has basically a top deck situation going on, I can assure <laughs> you the streak sounds very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Or it can all just go grey at once. That'll be fine. Yeah. I'm already working on it. I'm, I've started um, using lighter shades for doing my roots. So I can sort of, because if I go now, it's going to be a really hard line. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, you don't want to do that. We're starting to sort of just dye lighter shades um, with the intention of letting it grow out eventually because I'm like, I'm over 40. It's time. Yep. Is there a magical spell to dye your hair? I'm just yeah. trying to bring it back. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it, 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 it requires a few few ingredients and one of them's hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly it's, what it's a potion. <laughs> it's a potion. Not it's a, a potion, yeah. Yeah, true, true. Potion no, it's a hair. spell. I close my eyes and wish her hard and then Justin appears and then he fixes it. <laughs> <laughs> Justin does do good work. And then he I does. cross his palm with silver. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's that's cheap though. Like if you're paying in silver, or well, I suppose it could be just a lot of fifty cent pieces. Actual lot of silver. silver <laughs> I was not actually silver referring to pay, pay wave. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> the silver chip. Silver stripe. Yeah. Won't let me pay card. wave. Costs a bit more than a hundred bucks. <laughs> well, I still do it. I just put yeah. the number in afterwards. Yeah, you can still yeah. pay wave. You just have to do <laughs> pay wave and do the sign. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sign. <laughs> Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm sick. I can't really like push this forward, but um, awkward. Yeah, yeah. 
Book could, book could agree. No, I don't think yeah. you have to worry. The problem is, is that we all liked it. That's the usual yeah, problem. And there's nothing yeah. To talk about. Yeah. Oh, the problem I can say, like I have a comment. I love the outfit on the mum. Oh, yes. yes. I love her little so white petticoat and the bare feet and the little apron and stuff. I'm like, I kind of yep. love that dress. You know, who she, you know who I kept thinking of every time I saw her? You oh, know, she the, reminds me of someone, but I can't put my finger on it. So hopefully, you know, in Kiki's of. delivery service, the um, oh, yeah. bakery lady. Bakery lady, yeah. Oh, oh I, I don't think that was what I was thinking her. of though, because that's been a while since I've seen that. I need to watch it again. Yes, you do. All our DVDs well, are in boxes. I was just mm. gonna say the kids need to be watching it. <laughs> yeah. Can you we imagine how watching, much they'd love that? <laughs> we started watching Wally tonight. And they, and they were really sad when mm. we had to turn it off. It was so funny oh. watching their reaction. <laughs> I haven't seen it before. Oh, speaking of kids stuff. Sorry, I know this is totally off topic. There's new. This um, is a kid season. Book. Yeah, no, I know. Kind of on um, there's a new season of the toys that made us on Netflix. Yes, there is season three. Ah, yeah. Is there anything that I played with this time? Ninja Turtles. <gasps> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I, I think they've got Ninja Turtles. Trolls. There's only four four this time around though. So there was no. There's always only been four. It's just they oh, did is it? two two seasons before with four Together. episodes each, and this is the third season. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, I can tell you which which ones they are. Teenage no, Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtles. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, My Little Pony, mm. and Professional Wrestling, which I'm like, eh. Mm. <laughs> but My Little Pony. I had My Little Ponies and I had Ninja Turtles. I, I watched Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but I can't remember. I was too old for that. Oh, By the I time that came out, the I was The toys too were old pretty big, yeah. Mm. I was no, in I high school or something. I think I was just on the cusp. I watched it because my brother wanted to watch it. Mm. Yeah. No, no, I wasn't allowed to watch it. And then... My grandfather, yes, got my brother a Power Ranger costume for Christmas one year. A Peace Power Ranger costume for my brother. <laughs> that's great. That's, that's great. That was probably the only colour he could one. find. Yeah, everything else is uh, sold no, out. he just no? wouldn't have been aware at all. <laughs> <laughs> See, I remember watching the Power Rangers and being like, well, this is a rip-off of Voltron. What is going on? That's exactly what I'm not of. wanting to watch it because I was like, no, they just stole this idea from Voltron, not realizing that Voltron had kind of stolen the idea from a bunch of Japanese stuff that came before that. Yeah. But I was like, this is just like Voltron, except there's stupid teenager high school stuff in between. I don't understand, <laughs> and I didn't want to watch it. It was really I hilarious. Was too old. My my boyfriend years ago, he his friend bought the DVD set when they released the DVD set of Voltron and he made me watch an episode with him and I'm like, uh, yeah, like, uh, you can usually watch pretty much anything. And I'm like, uh, he goes, yeah, that wasn't so great. Let's just watch the second episode. And he's like, we'll watch one when we watch the third episode. He goes, yeah, this is not as good as I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like, I'm if sorry. You it, when you're a kid, you probably thought it would be brilliant. I loved it when I was a kid. I was, I, I was a big fan of Voltron when I was Kid, but I think I was just the right age for it at the time. Yeah, and also I had a brother, so I, like all the stuff that I watched was like the boy cartoons. See, and that's Good. the one thing I'm cranky about with this show, like the toys that made us show. They always do four episodes, and one of them will be the girls' toy, and I'm like, come on, where's the Cabbage Patch Kids? Where's the Strawberry Shortcakes? Where's the? <laughs> yeah, yep. I can see that. I'm just looking through it because I haven't watched any of these yet. I'm like, Barbie, yeah. Yeah. And then all the rest are boy, like boys toys. Mm -hmm. What's the second one? It's like Hello Kitty. I didn't, I didn't do Hello Kitty. I don't think I knew no, anything I really about Hello me. Kitty. I think no. it maybe it's a more, it might have been more American or something. Mm. See, but they're Lego, like Lego. Yeah, the Lego yeah. one is yeah. really good. Um, Actually, yeah, they, I, they've all been really interesting episodes, but no, just always how much you connect with what yeah. you had. Yeah, mm. it's just yeah. whether you that is your particular brand of nostalgia is basically. Yeah. Which some of the traditional boy ones um, were fine like that, mm. but I'm also very conscious of the fact that there's not a lot of balance to it. Yeah. Anyway, that's not the point of yeah. this episode. No. Did we have anything else from the <laughs> well, we're kind of talking about gender, yeah, gender. conformity so, and, and yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to shoehorn it in, but it's like get it in there, get it in there. Hmm. It was interesting how everyone drank the Kool Aid, basically. Like mm. 
other than Asta, Asta, sorry, everyone was like, no, nope, this, this is fine. Like the girls were very like, you can't read this, you can't do this. This is girl stuff. Mm-hmm. And you think like, that's part of the and the boys were like, we're part? we're the fighters and we're gonna do like the fighting stuff and protect the women and I was like, ugh, no wonder he doesn't want to hang out with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, do you think it's because that part of the reason that was being maintained was because they were such an insular society? I think that that's probably insult. yeah, yeah. Mm. Like they don't really have access to like broader communities and such, so mm. they don't really have, like, it's harder for them to sort of develop external sort of thoughts of rather than just this is the way it's always been because it's just the way it is. Well, mm. and th- is, this, is this a a school of thought that applies to the other magical communities, you know, in this world? Mm. Or is it, you know, or is it, or is it just, a bit more? Has it just happened in this community because of what happened with the grandfather? And so that that's what's made everybody so. Yeah, because we're talking about what, two two generations here? Of... Although it mustn't have been, it must have been before that because the reason that he ended up going bad was oh, because right, they because... told him he couldn't do the ma- magic. If they'd just gone, yeah. sure, you can do magic. He would have been yeah. fine and he wouldn't have gone crazy because the only reason he did that was because he was like, I need to be a man, so I need to shape shift, so I'm going to try and use my magic skills to make me shape shift, which is when everything went all wrong. Mm. And, and then he so tried to come back, but that. they, yeah, even when he tried to come back because he knew he'd done the wrong thing, they still come out. They didn't try and take him back and help him. Mm. They just, yeah, even when he tried, they still kicked him out. In fact, that's one of the things I really hope they explore a bit more in the future books is the think that the really problematic elements of this society that he's coming from. But I, I because it's a, of the age that this is intended for, I'm not sure they will. But mm. at the same time, they have brought it up. Like it's quite clearly, at least in their group, um, and pro- pro- quite probably their neighbours as well. Um, it, it's quite clear that there's some real problems in terms of where their society is currently sitting and in, in, in how they've got such a, a strict strict and rigid, oh, my God, two alcohol, two vodkas and blah. <laughs> two alcohols. <laughs> two alcohols. <laughs> two As alcohols. Said, Bartender. <laughs> two alcohols. Tongue. Well, um, anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, there seems to be some real problems because if they've got this really strict structure um, mm. Not just in the um, in this one young boy, but in general, I feel like it's it's not allowing for um, them to to feel and exist the way they might actually feel for themselves. Yeah, um, like I feel like if the grandfather had been able to just start learning magic, and that it wasn't so awful for his grandmother not to be able to do magic, like yeah, that's the thing, like. Isn't, doesn't it come out at the end that she's a shapeshifter? Yeah. She can't do yeah. She's like, been hiding because she knows that it won't be accepted. Yeah. So that's the thing. Like, nothing bad has happened to her. Like, this is a power that she has. Why hmm. is it so terrible? Like, you know. Like, I think with her, it's easy to hide. Sorry. Oh, that's right. I was just going to say, I'd be um, interested to see how they, like, sort of, break down that whole, oh, it's the end of the world if boys do magic and the girls mm. mm. Yeah. I was yeah, just going to say... Uh, I was just going to say that for her, it's easy to hide because the fact that she can shapeshift, you can just sort of not do that in front of people. Whereas for the, for the, the guy... The fact that you can't shapeshift, everybody knows where's your shapeshift, like why can't you shapeshift and show me that you can shapeshift. Whereas for her, she could kind of like hide the fact that she could. I think basically like she said her shapeshifting wasn't very good. So basically they were both, they were twins and they were both natural witches. Whereas she's expected to be a witch, so it wasn't a problem for her. And she could just hide the bit of her that could shapeshift, whereas he couldn't shapeshift properly or at all. Uh, well, they could both, I, I got the impression, stuff. Yeah, they both got a little bit. They yes. both got a little bit of witching stuff and a little bit of shape-shifting, but not great in either because they kind of had a mix. But, yeah. See, and, and my thing is, too, is this, just this whole 
it, this it, there's only two choices, only two paths kind of mm. option. And it's like, seriously, A, what if you're born and you can't do either of them? Yeah. Do they and just kick you out? Exactly. I was worried about that, like with um, Harry Potter and, and Muggles uh, versus Muggle okay, Society. Okay, something's if, happened. Sorry, if you're cool. born a squid, um, what sorry. happens to you? Mm-hmm. Sorry, What's um, going on? Smoosh, she doesn't like to leave his bedroom. And she just, we have like a little break that we've leaned up against the door so that the other animals can't come in here, but they can come in. And she like squeezed herself out to go in and like investigate around the, in the hallway. And then to get back in, instead of trying to squeeze back in, she jumped over. This fat little butterball just jumped <laughs> over. <laughs> and she like put her legs on the back of it because she's too fat to jump that high. <laughs> That's why we were both shocked because we're like, oh my god, she's going to kill herself. (laughs) She made it over and it didn't fall down and yeah, she seems fine. She's now hiding again. (laughs) Too much for her. She wished she did too much at once. Well, she went and explored the cupboard really thoroughly. (laughs) Anyway, sorry, Mel. Sorry, Mel. That's all right. Um, yeah, so, like, it, there's not a lot of, doesn't seem to be any other choices, and I'm like, surely they need more people doing other things than being a witch or a shapeshifter in their society. Mm-hmm. Um, so, there's that in that he didn't really have any other options being pre- presented to him. It was all Pope is lost, he can't shapeshift kind of attitude from his father. And, yeah. um, and then and witchcrafting is just not an option at all. And... Um, and then, like, and that, again, makes me feel like what happens to squibs in, in Harry Potter land when they're born and they're discovered, like, do the parents abandon them? What happens to them? I think them? it depends on the parents. Like, if you were, mm. like, um, you know, the, the ones that are very, like, pure blood families, maybe they do abandon them. But I would imagine, like, if, if like, a squib was born into the Weasley family, it would be just like, oh, well. Like, you know about magic and stuff, you just, they, they, I can imagine they would just be accepted and part of the family and they'd probably feel like shit the whole time because they couldn't do stuff that the others could, but mm. I can't imagine they'd be abandoned. I think it would depend on the family. But, yeah. I mean, look at Filch. He's kind of like bitter and twisted because I was going to say he's very bitter and Mm. twisted (laughs) because of you know he knows all about the magic and stuff but he can't do stuff like that Mm. would probably but that's why I always felt bad for him because I was like why is he stuck working at a school being surrounded by magic users it he should have been acclimatized to living in the muggle world so that he could have some sort of options open to him in a well did we all read did we all watch the umbrella academy I did. How yeah. many of us did? Well, look a bit. Look at the chick in that. That was like, mm-hmm. I'm being brought up with all these people that can have powers and I don't. And that ended really well. Mm. <laughs> I was actually can't think if it was a um, YouTube video or a podcast. Um, there's a theory that Filch isn't actually a squib, but that he's mm. a poltergeist. Oh. Oh. That's okay. why he can't do magic and he never leaves the ground, and why he seems to be able to sort of talk with Mrs. Norris without actually talking to her. That hmm. he's a poltergeist similar to Peeves, but where Peeves is a poltergeist that thrives off chaos, um, he is a poltergeist that follows the rules and nothing can be done except following the rules. Wow. I have not heard that theory before. <sighs> tweet, wanna... tweet, JK, right now. Yeah. <laughs> No, wizards just shat wherever they wanted to and then magic it away. <laughs> sometimes oh. you just feel like she's trolling. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> I feel like she's like, oh, I didn't think of that. Um, yeah. Let's just I'm make some shit up that's going to be bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I thought that was really interesting where they were, where some, like, you know, because I always thought it was very strange that someone who was a complete squib was the person who was the sort of, janitor as it were hmm. for, for yeah. the whole entire school like I know he's got their house and you can literally be like by the yeah like it, yeah. it just didn't ever make any sense oh and then I kind I of heard, got the I kind of got the impression that it was like a pity job they were yeah. like we feel sorry for you so yeah this can be your job 
there's probably out like the house elves are probably doing most of the work and mm-hmm. he's just like going around and getting shitty at kids that are in the wrong place because he's been given this job that's just like yeah we feel bad that you don't have a job so he, he you can be this and whereas the other script in the in the books the cat lady whose name i can't think of right now mrs fig she's, mrs mm, fig, Arabella she, fig. She, she has contacts within the society but she's quite clearly adjusted and is living in muggle society mm. It was a Super Carlin Brothers beard. Mm. Oh, of course. A what, what, what? Super Carlin oh, Brothers. Are they like the Mario Brothers? <laughs> Thank you, Mel. You're, you're welcome, Mel. <laughs> so they're a YouTube <laughs> channel and they do too. a lot of Disney theories. Oh, right. Okay. Because I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. So I, I know them from the Disney theories mostly. <laughs> Obviously, I have not seen enough YouTube. All I seem to ever do is watch YouTube, but obviously I've not seen enough. <laughs> it just goes to show how much of YouTube there is. The problem is YouTube, once you start watching something, it just shows you more of what you're already watching. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. I've got so much Lindsay Ellis in my feed right now, in my suggested feed. I'm like, okay, look, I've watched a lot. I don't need any more. Thank you. YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> so I shared and the she talks for a long time, too. Like, time. She does like hour-long videos. I was away from home. I was very bored, but I did not have the brain space for doing anything. It was quite easy watching. And I was very grateful that I didn't have to keep picking videos because they were like half an hour long. (laughs) Yeah, I just thought that that was really an interesting sort of take on why they would have someone in this magical world doing a job that didn't have magic. Mm. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Actually, one of um, there's a, a fanfic that I read, obviously a drary one, um, which uh, there are other types obviously of a drary one. <laughs> and, and there are other types existed. Oh, <laughs> no, they they don't actually. Well, not uh, not to me, they don't. I don't read anything, but I but, don't know how you can do it because I can't stand him. Hey, you just get over it really fast once you start reading a few fanfics. Anyway, um. So uh, one of them is actually set where Harry's running an orphanage specifically for squibs. So the whole point for it is that, um, it, so it, it's an orphanage in that they, almost all of them have families, but their families either have um, sent them there to start to, for school or their families who are dumping their kids because they're squibs. And, um, and he, uh, Harry and Hermione are, habilitating them through their education, through their teenage years. I think I've read this book. Probably. Mm-hmm. Um, and, um, habilitating throughout their teenage years, which would they, where they would normally be going to Hogwarts, Hogwarts to acclimatise to living in the muggle world. And I love the idea of that because I'm like, thank God, someone's dealing with the squibs. <laughs> yeah, that's actually that sounds real. I, that sounds really good. I, I probably would like that, but I yeah, but you'd have to deal with Drowry as well. Trust me, I it's a know. major part. Yeah, I know. Like I'm, I, I get it. Like I mean, obviously Draco has to be a completely different character in these fictions because yes, like he's not very likable in the he's in the main the series. Yes, like I mean, I love um. What's the book, the fangirl one? Help me out. Oh, now. um, uh, carry on. Yeah, I love the characters in there, and I get that they're kind of like loosely based on like Harry and the Draco. very loosely based. Drag and fiction. I love that, but I'm like, I just can't loosely pass based, but completely, utterly based on. No, see, the thing is, is that what happens with reading fanfics, especially if you get it from Draco's perspective, is you start to see the change like because mm. everything you've got to remember harry potter is very much the an unreliable narrator and he's I know, a but, you know the, the big thing that i can't get past is when he i think it was book six and mm. harry was on the train and he was um paralyzed and draco kicked the shit out of him and covered him with the in, uh, invisibility folks so that he, like, i'm like i can't get past that shit yeah i Look, can get past all the stuff can. with 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 um dumbledore and all of that because like, and I could even get past him, like, a lot of the other things he did. But that seems so vindictive and so, like, oh, I don't know. That really just, 
If, I, I think if you took I'm that not... scene out of the of the series, it would probably sit with me better. But that particular scene really bothered me, and like I couldn't kind of get past it. Look, I'm not here to convert anybody. I spent a long time I not am. going down that road myself. But... I'm here. Yes, yeah, hell, how do you think I got converted? Come on, it started somewhere. <laughs> and then I read a fanfic and the next thing I knew I was in a very deep hole with over a hundred fanfics on my phone. <laughs> Look, see, we maybe just you're a... just liking, like, you've got the fanfic version of Draco now in your head and now you're kind of not. Oh, look, he's the original totally recognised that he's not really the same person in my head. But almost all of them deal with the story at, um, to some degree to explain it. So mm. it's just done in different ways. Anyway. So should we kind so of like, topic. should we kind of admit that we're done yeah. talking about this? Yeah. Topic, so that we can invite all the other people in who haven't read it because we're not actually talking about something that they <laughs> no. haven't read. And then, and then while you're inviting everybody in, I think I'll get it. Okay. All right. Anybody watching? Good night. Thank you for joining us. Sorry, it was short.